Hey guys, it's Sean from Printees. Today we're going to talk about the ins and outs of contract printing. First of all, what is contract printing? Contract printing is mostly used by brands or resellers so they can get the utmost profits on their orders for their clients or for themselves. So what they're going to do, they're going to supply their blanks, their artwork that's either separated or digitized for embroidery, as well as supply everything they need to specify exactly what they want for their order. So first thing first is going to be to find suppliers online for your blanks. So in Canada, you can find Alpha Broder, SNS, Sanmar, and many more. For resellers, it's going to be a lot easier for you to open accounts and qualify for that. For brands, it might be harder, but if it's hard to open brand, um, your accounts with suppliers, you can always go and order through Wardens or T-shirt.ca, which have really great bulk pricing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is search online for contract printers. Not every printer offers contract printing. Then once you find a few contract printers, go on their website and see what they offer. If their website is not very detailed, you might want to call them and see exactly what they can offer from printing um, delays as well as their decoration methods. So here, Printees, we offer a wide variety of printing methods such as screen printing, embroidery, DTG, DTF, heat transfers, and many more. The third thing you're gonna to wanna to do is educate yourself on all of the decoration methods. This is a big subject because there's a lot you can do. For, first of all, you can go on our website and go on our online showroom and see exactly what we offer and what we can do. There's also a great way to look at the garments you have at home. What's your favorite t-shirt? What's that printing method directly on, your, on that shirt? Um, if you don't know, you might want to search online or bring that to your printing partner to know exactly what they can do. The fourth thing you're going to want to do is get familiar with tech packs. Most printing partner will demand for you to have tech packs so they can print your job according to your specifications. Having a tech packs ensures that there's no mistakes being made by the printer. So your print size, your Pantone colors, your printing methods, as well as your print placements um, will all be a solution for the printer to go and look at your PDF tech packs and make sure they're doing exactly what you want. So leaving no assumptions to the printer and making changes that you don't want or don't are not looking for. Step five is the most important step, which is artwork. You often hear in the industry, garbage in, garbage out. Low res image will result in low res print. What you want to do is make sure your images or your vector files or your pixel images are in high resolution. The utmost quality you can get in a, in a design will always be vector. Depending what you want to do is if it's a simulated process print or a vector print, um, you want to have that best resolution. If you have a low res image, there's multiple solutions online to vectorize your images for cheap. So we'll list them below to, for you to use um, like you want and test them out to see exactly what's the best solution for you. There's also many solutions for you to digitize your own embroidery files instead of sending it to your print partner where they're gonna make a markup off of that. As well as separation solutions for you to separate your artwork exactly the way you want them with your Pantone and your stroke size. So the printing company, printing partner doesn't have to do it and charge you for that. This is it for today. I hope you like this short video. If you have more questions, feel free to call us and contact us. We'll be more than happy to help whether you're looking to use us as your printing partner or not. Um, we love what we do and especially this industry. Have a great day.